Malam Junction and its surrounding areas are flat prone. Residents have had to endure loss of property and even lives whenever it rained. To ensure that flooding is reduced to the barest minimum as the rainy season sets in, the barley stream that flows under the Malam Junction is to be linked to the drains across the road and expanded to take more water. This stream mostly overflows its banks, causing flooding, a situation that forced this filling station on the Malam Junction to close down. Expansion of the drainage will require that portions of the stretch are closed to traffic during the construction period, hence the diversions. We have discovered the Tarazo Road from Awoshi direction. We have agreed with stakeholders to ensure that traffic flow towards Odopo through to Kaneshi will be heavy through their end. Those going to Dansuma because of the blockade would also use this direction if they so wish to go to Dansuma or Sakama. From the Awoshi traffic light all the way down to the middle where we would have had exit on the left towards Malam and Sakama. We are going to block that was going to Malam that is heading towards Kaswa to divert through to uh, Bawe direction. And under the bridge, we are going to take left, the second left, and at the second exit through to Malam. The Ghana Highways Authority, in collaboration with the Greater Accra Metropolitan Assembly, Sanitation and Water Project of the Ministry of Water and Sanitation, are undertaking the expansion project, which will be done by a Chinese construction firm, Shanzi. We also want the public, especially the true traffic on this stretch, to be able to bear uh, with us because this is disruption to their time, economic time, uh, disruption to their activity, but it's an issue of priority. The rainy season is in, and if we don't work together and get the grace uh, completed, we still have the industry. Mr. Gabriel Engman is the Deputy Municipal Rules Engineer of the Ga South Municipal Assembly. We have done a section of the drain works up to the road where the you can see the old or former total filling station at Malam Junction. So we've gotten to the stage where the road has to be cut. Joined to the existing downstream section of the, the stream and then the Precast would be installed there, would cover them, solidify the, the base, and then reinstate the road for, for motorists to, to continue using the road. The construction will be in three phases. Barring any setbacks, phase one is expected to take 12 days, phase two, 13 days, and phase three, 15 days. The engineers estimate the entire project to take about 50 days. For GBC 24, Winifred Fum reporting.